Captain's Log, date November 4th, 1943. The conning tower of the trout is buzzing with activity, as our radar operators work in tandem with the plotting party to nail down the convoy's course and speed. At the moment, the convoy is 13 miles away. We will maintain this safe distance until nightfall, when we will commence the attack. The darkness should conceal the bubble trail of our Mark 14 torpedoes. Hopefully this attack goes a little smoother than the previous one. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4, and has it been a while. I apologize for the uh, short break I had in between videos there. Uh, we had some issues at the apartment complex. Uh, our neighbors had a water leak in the apartment, and it messed up their drywall and, and roof and everything, so they've been hammering away over there every time I wanted to record. Uh, so... Thankfully they're done, and uh, everything is hunky-dory over here, so it should get back to normal scheduled programming. Uh, this is my first time playing Silent Hunter 4 in weeks, and hopefully everything goes alright. We are currently tracking that uh, Japanese convoy. Actually, as I speak, we are closing in on them. The convoy made a southern course change once again. I feel, if I recall, they did that earlier as well. Um, they could just be uh, zigzagging, be on a zag, and it looks like they are not uh, doing small course changes anymore. Uh, maybe they are kind of zigzagging. I'm not too sure, but we are closing in on their current track. We have one destroyer out in the lead. There was the third destroyer that we encountered last time. He is way in the aft. Um, I'm not sure what he's really up to. Uh, kind of just hanging out by himself, I guess. He's a little slow. I went ahead and loaded us with mostly Mark 14 since we will be commencing this attack during the night. It is 1738, and as you can see, uh, it is fairly dark. The water's kind of luminous here. I don't know what's up with that. We'll probably end up submerging here shortly. However, but I do want to close in on this surface just for a little bit. And while I'm... Let's go ahead and turn towards them. Looks like we might be... Oh, I didn't mean to. I clicked the wrong gauge there. Let's turn maybe north. Yeah, let's go ahead and just turn almost north. And of course, when I start recording, they go out there with the bloody leaf blowers once again. Alright, so we'll close in from this angle. This looks fairly honestly um let's turn east and go flank i kind of want to make my attack from this side oh this is tricky yeah i want to make my attack from this side i think because what's the distance between this one escort and the merchant ships only 1,500 yards. Yeah, that's not enough. I'd rather make it from this side at a little bit of a longer range. Uh, I don't know, actually. Okay, never mind. We'll stick to my current plan. We'll stick to my current plan. They're at about 2-9. I guess we're making our course change now. I doubt we'll be able to see them. Yeah, still no visual. Alright, well, let's close in here. Hopefully we can sink at least two of them this time. Looks like they kind of changed course towards me once again. Interesting. No, they're just kind of zigzagging. Alrighty. Well, I think now would be a good time to go down to radar depth, actually. So let's go ahead yes, and do that. Radar, radar depth. dive planes rig down perfect okay there they are they are definitely in visual now I don't know if y'all can see that they're right there on the horizon looks like I got the four merchant ships I do not see maybe that's the destroyer I don't see the little sub chasers just yet they have a fairly small profile however Especially compared to the merchant vessels. Alright, let's go ahead and get under, though. 
Alright, let's make sure. Let's go ahead and man battle stations. Everything's ready. No aft tube, so this is definitely... Okay. Alright. Hull damage, we have to keep that in mind. We are fairly... Um, that's pretty severe damage, honestly. 28% hull damage. So, we need to be careful. That is pretty bad. Um, I'm... Alright. Let's go slow. And we are still maintaining radar depth. So we can continue to plot them. Okay, here we are. There's the... No. There's the destroyer right there. Okay. And hopefully he's not coming right for me. Alright. Let's go ahead and rig for silent running. So I do not want to get detected here. They gave me a pretty good pounding the last time. Okay, so... So I kind of want to avoid that again. Let's go ahead and begin identifying here. I identified incorrectly during our last engagement, which might have cost us. I'm not too sure. So let's see what we got going on here with these fellas. These two look the same. So, no, no. That's them. Hakashika Maru. I'm probably butchering that. But that is what I think you are. So we'll go ahead and plug that in for these two. Make sure none of the others are that vessel. You maybe are. Yeah. I think so. And then this one is something totally different. Now it's one of those old freighters. I kind of recognize the slanted masts and we begin the click fest once again because I probably went past it the first time like I normally do typical wolf pack oh, where the frick frack there we go <clears throat> okay and this one's kind of changing course that is slightly concerning a Zimbu Maru alright let's see what they are up to All right, let's reduce speed, one knot. And let's go down to periscope depth. All right. Hopefully I did not do that too late. Uh, the shore is zigzagging a lot more than he was previously, which uh, could be a very bad sign. I think we're okay. Don't hear any pinging or anything like that, and they're not going bonkers, so. It gives me reason to believe that we are still in the green. Warship closing. Alright, we need to get these fellas speed. They are zigzagging, aren't they? They just really like to change course on me. Alright. Alright, let's begin the three minute timing here. Okay. Let's actually reset. This is interesting. That thing is heading right for me. Let's look for the second destroyer. Okay. Destroyer number one. He's okay. It's one merchant ship. One, two.
Okay, they're all here. I cannot. Maybe the other destroyer is concealed by this merchant vessel. Not too sure what's going on exactly with that. It's like the other warship is pretty far out there though. Which works for me. One minute. Two minutes. All right, this is good, this is good. This is actually relatively perfect. Closing in on three, one, two, mark. All right, doesn't look like, looks like five knots, yep. We'll plug in five. Five knots, perfect. And now we just lay in wait and we'll get there. This one seems to be doing kind of crazy stuff. Oh, they're all zigzagging. Okay, so they know a submarine's in the area, unfortunately. Or they just like the zigzag. I can't say I really blame them. They just watched one of their brethren blow up uh, just a few hours ago. So, I would be zigzagging too, honestly. Um, not really a bad move. Alright, let's close in. Okay, there's the other destroyer. We are giving him a very nice sonar profile. Alright, nice and close. Alright, it's looking good. Rotor amidships, let's begin backing up. Actually, no, no, keep heading slow forward. Okay, we're good. Let's begin to commence the attack. We will shoot at this fellow first. I think one torpedo into the Zimbu Maru will be sufficient. Speed five knots. AOB is kind of at 70 ish. Mark, range. I'm not sure if it's from the smokestack. Yeah, it is from the smokestack on this guy. Mark. All right, and we will shoot our mark tubes four and six at this one. Position keeper on now, tubes four and six. Contact, torpedo depth, let's see what's this draft, 15 feet, we'll do nine and nine. Contact pistols. We'll wait for him to kind of turn back. All right, perfect. Open tubes four and six. All right, tube four. Let's make sure everything's good. His AOB is still at about 75 mark, 80-ish. Speed five, okay. One more range reading and bearing update. All right, I just wanna be sure we hit fire tube four and fire tube six. All right. This guy is next. All right, let's find him in here. I don't know if it, oh no, it automatically updates. All right, let's get range. He is pretty close. I'm guessing about a thousand yards. Mark, AOB, he's kind of turning. So, hmm, let's do 75, Mark. Tube one, tube one is, I need his draft though. All right, let's see, draft is 28 feet. Okay, wow. Big meaty guy. Open tube one. Speed high. Tube one. Fire tube one, tube one away. All right. 
next in line. Actually, let's just wait momentarily. Let's see how that does. It looks pretty good from here. Let's look at the tor the map. Oh yeah, that's not looking bad. I think I'm gonna wait to fire on the next two vessels though. They might actually impact at around the same time. Everything goes well. These two might miss though. All right, this one's gonna hit first. Perfect, right in the dead center. Awesome, okay, and then our other two. Hopefully that at least cripples that ship. Probably should have shot two. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna get them. Perfect. One. And two. That one is gone. I'm gonna shoot another one into this one. Actually, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot another one into this one. Speed, we're gonna plug in four and a half knots. Open tube three. Mark, AOB is dead ass 90 right now. Range. I just don't want them to get away. Tube three, fire. Tube three. Tube three away. I was hoping one would cripple her, but it looks like she's going to be going on just fine. All right, the warships definitely know we're here now. Um, I don't think they're going to think we just hit a mine. So we have two torpedoes left, tubes five and two. Secure from silent. Hopefully we can reload rapidly, maybe. We'll see. I can probably get another ship here though. All right, that is, yeah, definitely gonna hit. Looks like he's accelerating though, so it might hit it aft. Oh, perfect, that one's done. Number two, dealt with. All right, destroyers, where are thou? Okay, yep, he's closing quickly, very quickly. I think this one might be our best bet. He has the best angle. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, down, let's lower our scope. Don't know if I want to make this shot. Let's change course just a smidge. Alright. Destroyer's closing extremely fast. I'm not happy with that. We're going to shoot at this one. Mark. AOB. AOB. About 70... 70 ish right now mark speed probably going the full five knots open to five and two speed why can't I change my speed on tube two? Oh, we can okay I'm just a little dense torpedo depth 15 feet on both prepare to crash dive tube five fire tube two adjust AOB a bit Make sure the speed's locked in at a good rate. And fire tube two, scope down. Crash dive, crash dive. Get under quickly, boys. This is bad. <laughs> uh, a lot, a lot better executed than our last attack. However, we're going down very quickly. Let's check up on our torpedoes. Let's see. Oh shoot, yeah, that was a whiff. That's unfortunate. But hey, two vessels dealt with. Oh man, that kind of sucks. That uh, we whiffed with those two. That was kind of a snap, I should have waited. But hey, two down, only two more to go. We still have quite a few torpedoes left too. And we have five torpedoes. So I could probably completely wipe out this convoy. Let's change course just a little bit. I want to avoid the sinking ships here. And that, that bug is really bothering me. Let's go down to 200 feet. Actually, not 200. 178, it looks like. Let's head flank the hell out of here. Before he drops his little little ash candle down on us. Oh my god, that creaking is starting to drive me insane though. I am so sorry for that, folks. 
All right. Yeah, pinging the absolute hell out of us. Maybe if I. All right, let's go ahead and slow down. All ahead, one third. Change course one more time. Rig for silent. There's also a third destroyer somewhere out here lurking about, so he's probably going to come and reinforce his friends and killing me. So we have that to look forward to as well as we lurk here at 180 meet or 180 feet. Hey, but that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that attack. Oh, thank you for letting me know. Yeah, it looks like one's just listening here while the other commences his, his attack. Well, oh, it looks like he's reversing. That's interesting. He's about to depth charge with this little lifeboat right here. That seems a little dangerous, those poor fellows. <laughs> Look at them rocking about there. I'm waiting to kind of watch him uh, commence this depth charge attack. Does he even have depth charges? He has to. I thought he did. Or she did. Does this other one have a depth charge throwers? Yeah, this one has a depth charge. Looks like throwers and rack, but this other one doesn't. This guy's kind of a waste of space, don't you think? Okay, well, um, they can do whatever they want, I suppose. Can't say I really have, understand their method here. Okay, yep, moving fast, closing. Not very surprised about that information. Kind of knew he would rush over here once the attack commenced. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and begin... Oh, finally, it ended! The loop of creeks finally ceased. That's nice. My ears are <laughs> very grateful for that, and I'm sure yours are too. That can get kind of annoying. Always hated that bug. Especially in Silent Hunter 4, it seems to be rather frequent. Anyway, I'm going to just uh, whittle-waddle out of here. I don't think they have a very good fix on me, so I'm going to track the merchant ships and probably come back in for round two in a moment. So I will cut here and get back to you guys soon. Okay, so we escaped fairly easily without a single depth charge landing anywhere near us. And we are now closing in for the final engagement, the last two here. Uh, the destroyers are, they're doing, they are going bonkers. <laughs> I'll see, you'll see, they keep going off and really hunting for submarines at this point. They know I'm going to come back. I would be a fool not to come back. I mean, I, I'm fairly committed to completely wiping out this Japanese convoy. Uh, we've sunk three out of five, and we just have two left with our remaining five torpedoes. So unless I really screw the pooch, we should be able to do this. Now the problem is they are zigzagging quite a bit now. Uh, can't say I blame them, <laughs> uh, but they just are doing all sorts of wonky things here. I kind of thought they were just going to completely scatter, if I'm being honest. I might have to do two separate attacks here. I'm just kind of trying to feel them out. Let's go down to periscope depth now. We'll approach from this angle here. Periscope that, please. All right, and I'll head slow. And we'll rip around and do a very close ranged attack. Especially with all the zigzagging nonsense they are committing. It is. All right, let's go ahead and begin timing them to get their speed. I'm sure they've changed speed since our last encounter. Mark. All right, one minute, two minute. Yes, 
All right, closing in on three. And mark. All right, I'm guessing still five knots, actually. Yeah, five knots. Okay. Well, that works out, I suppose. Yeah, see, they're just doing all sorts of weird, wonky stuff. All right, let's turn around and get ready to attack this has actually ended up pretty good and this is fairly close about 2,000 yards out perfect perfect and hopefully they zag right when i need them to like now all right whoa that looks kind of bad all right let's see where are you my merchant friends hello oh that is such a nice angle all right let's go ahead and get all this set up mark aob let's just go with 90 mark speed five knots mark let's see what we got loaded we have a hmm let's try a Contact influence, speed high, torpedo depth, 20, 29.5 feet, open tube number one. This is our steam torpedo, so it will leave the bubble trail, but I kind of wanted to get there as quickly as possible since our window to fire is pretty short at the moment. So fire tube one. All right, and then this big fella here. Lock on to target. Speed will set to five. AOB, kinda at a 75 degree angle at the moment. Or 70, yeah. Lock in range. Tube three and four, we will fire. Set depth, about 15 feet. For three and two, I'm sorry. Contact, open tube three and open tube two. Tube two. Hmm. AOB, let's adjust one more time. Yeah, let's just go 70. Tube two, fire. Tube three, fire. Uh, looks like this one was kind of a whiff. I wonder if it ran under. Oh shit, well that sucks. All their zigzagging is really not helping, but it looks like these are looking fairly good. Yep, we got a detonation probably, hopefully. Cross your fingers. That other one might have just ran right under. There we go. Oh, shit. Broker in half. All right, let's do this one more time. Last two torpedoes. Here we go. AOB, 90 degrees at the moment. It's turning away, so let's do 95. Mark, range, plug that in, about 900 yards. Speed, five knots. Tube six, or tube four, tube six. We'll do an offset angle on tube six of about one degree to the, or maybe two degrees to the left. Tube four, fire. Tube six, we'll just do one degree to the left. Tube six, fire. Both torpedoes away. This is it, folks. Awesome. I wonder if that torpedo just straight up ran underneath him. That is definitely possible. but it looks like we got another hit here. As long as the torpedo doesn't bounce off the hole at that crappy angle, oh my god. Yikes, that very well could be a dud. Got him! All right, one more with the offset. The offset angle might have shot me in the foot here, but she's burning. Yeah, one of them bounced off. Where are the destroyers here? Where are the destroyers? Are the destroyers even in visual range? 
Now, the problem, is this guy armed? She armed? Okay, there's a forward gun. I am very tempted just to surface. Where are the destroyers? Ah, oh, frick frag. Okay, there's one pretty far out. I wonder if I have time to pump just a few shots right into her and then crash dive. Yeah, we're gonna... We're just gonna dive now. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that yet. And we will track and maybe... I don't think they know where we are. I said that and this obviously just hit the fan. Okay, let's go a little deeper, 200 feet. One of them doesn't even have death charges, so I'm not that afraid. And let's go ahead and rig for solid running. I will track them. Hopefully this one goes down. If not, oh, let's get out of here. If not, we have one. We'll just leave one crippled. But I think I could probably find a way to uh, pump a few deck gun rounds right into the side of her. And finish her off and uh, wrap this episode up with a neat little bow. So we'll see though. I will cut here and get back to you guys whenever I'm dying horribly probably. So we'll <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, so I just popped up on the surface, and we're already getting bombarded by that fellow right there who is closing in on us fairly quickly. We got hit uh, right in the side. Our whole damage is up to 37%. Yikes. Okay, let's go down to 150. We're done. We're going. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> I think that is enough excitement for uh, a lifetime, honestly. Uh, that... I thought they were well out of range. I did a sweep with the periscope and I didn't see him, but uh, he was there. I guess with that very low profile of these Japanese sub chasers, they are fairly hard to pick up. I guess I need to pay a little bit more attention. So I don't think they really know where I am. Yeah, see, they're just really hanging out around this uh, ship I sunk earlier. So let's go ahead and head on home. That was terrifying, almost shit my pants. From that one <laughs> I was just surfacing you know like I do and then uh hear a giant explosion men screaming everyone got it looks like everyone in that compartment got a, a little rattled a little shooken let's see here yeah but they're they're okay we're okay everything's okay so, 37% hull damage. Yeah, that is not good at all. We'll secure from battle stations. It looks like we will just leave one very damaged Japanese merchant ship for those three warships to escort. That's okay. Let's look at to this patrol. Uh, overall, we did pretty well. We sunk an Akita Maru at the very beginning. We sunk, obviously... A super battleship and we sunk one two three four five five ships I, I don't know it's hard to one two three four five yep five merchant ships six merchant ships and then the super that is fairly good in my book we'll go ahead and head standard on our way home and just haul ass through this uh, gauntlet here uh, this probably isn't the best way to go. I'll probably end up cutting through here, these little islands, refitting at Darwin, and then heading down to Fremantle to uh, end the patrol. But that was uh, pretty exciting. I'm pretty happy with that, uh, us annihilating that convoy for the most part. Um, and by this point, the Japanese shipyards were so backed up with the damaged vessels that uh, they were building new ships faster than they could repair the old ones due to, you know, the streamed line, um, streamlined way they just built ships. It was just easier to uh, get the supplies to build new ones. I feel like a lot of countries ended up coming into that, having that problem. I know Germany really liked just to build new things instead of repairing their old stuff. That's obviously a much simplified view of or look at it but uh there you go anyway we'll head on home and i'll get back to you guys probably around Fremantle. and these swells i don't think we are going to uh, detect very much 
I don't think any Japanese zeros are going to be buzzing overhead at this point. So, I will see you guys soon. And we are back in good old Australia. And we have our escort welcoming us home. And we will be escorted back to the submarine pen, I guess. Uh, that was a fairly fun patrol. We'll go ahead and dock here. Um, there's nothing in there really we haven't already seen. So let's go ahead and end patrol at Fremantle. Yes, I am sure. So we... Wow, so long ago. We inserted the intelligence team on Borneo. And then we went to the Bismarck Sea. And uh, yeah, we didn't end up going back up the truck because that was a waste. But in all, we sunk 96,253 tons of shipping. Uh, a good chunk of that is obviously the Yamato and then our six merchant ships we sunk afterwards. So let's go ahead and next. All right, we got another Navy Cross. Awesome. For extraordinary heroism and commanding officer of the USS Trout, SS-202, during the 10 war patrol vessels of that vessel. Awesome. November 22nd, 1943. Wow, that's it? That's all I get? I was expecting a new boat for that. Well... I guess we have one more patrol in the good old USS Trout. At least we have 91,000 renown. Or no, 9,000. I'm sorry, 9,000 renown. What is this? Radar countermeasure. Oh, it's um radar warning. Okay, well I might end up just taking that. That might be good to take. Uh, there's not much else to take. We have Mark 23 torpedoes probably just take more mark 18s though those provide those were pretty useful uh, they actually ended up uh, being pretty good well I gotta say I'm kind of disappointed we didn't end up getting a new boat I was really expecting a new submarine however uh, oh my god <laughs> see we have racked up a completely unrealistic amount of shipping during our 10 war patrols with absolutely insane anyway i'd like to thank you all for watching i'm sorry this episode came out a bit late uh, unfortunately real life issues do happen and come up but i am going to be back on track i promise so i've been i've been pretty good this past you know year of you know not having very long breaks and this one wasn't really my choice so although it was nice to kind of sit back and play some other games for a bit but uh it's good to be back Anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next one.